Yo, what's good people? It's Jay Cactus, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make melodies easily in FL Studio. So this one's mainly for the beginners out there, but to be honest, even if you're an advanced producer or intermediate, there's still going to be some gems you can take from it because I'm going to be showing you how to make more interesting chord progressions and even 808 patterns. So make sure you stick around for them and let's get straight into it. All right, so to make the melody today, we're gonna to be using the brand new update from Captain Plugins called Epic. If you haven't used the plugins before, they're sick for helping you think of melodies, counter melodies, bass patterns, even drum patterns. And with the updates, there's a bunch of new sounds and features. So I'm gonna break everything down for you. So first we're gonna start with Captain Chords. And when you open it, it's gonna ask you to either pick a scale or just set a random one. And if you don't know what a scale is, essentially it's a group of notes that sound good together. That's the most simplest way of putting it. But you don't really need to understand it because this is gonna make sure that you still staying within the scale and when you do that it's a safe way of making sure that your melody sounds right you can go out of the scale sometimes but like it's a little bit more advanced and this tutorial is for beginners so i'm actually going to set my scale i want a minor one because minor scales tend to sound either dark or sad and major scales tend to sound happy so i'm going to go with b minor we can always change it now in most western scales there's seven notes and you can see the notes for the scale up here so b c sharp d e f sharp g and a and then with each note in the scale you can build chords from them and chords are essentially a group of notes so for example if we're using the root note which is b it's giving us a b minor chord and if you go to each note in the scale each chord number you can see if you go down there's different variations of each chord so for example this is a basic triad which is just three notes but you could go to the b minor seventh chord and these are essentially different variations of the B chord in the scale. So all that you really need to do here is just click on some chords until you find some that you like the sound of, and then you can build on it. Let's say for example, you liked this B sustain chord here. We could add another one. And if you wanted to go for something like drill, you could maybe keep it on the B chord, but add a different variation like this. And I'm actually just gonna put a pattern in the playlist and stretch this out. Otherwise it's just gonna keep repeating that first chord. So yeah, if you wanted a quick drill progression, you could do something like this. And then you could click and drag to highlight the first chord, hold shift, click and drag. And now we've just got two chords repeating in this four bar sequence. A quick drill progression it's that easy another thing that you can do is actually click on progressions here and you can select your genre so if you want r&b or trap and hip-hop you can actually generate new chord progressions to save you some time but instead of doing that i'm going to get rid of everything and i'm just going to start by selecting some chords that i like so yeah let's go for something like i like the way this sounds and then this straight after and then I think it might sound good if I go down to the root note. So I'm going to add another one. And then this one can just repeat. So I'm going to copy that over. Let's hear this. I like the way this sounds. And if we want to thicken up the chords, I could add some bass notes. And if you don't know what bass notes to add, the best thing to do is just add the root note of the chord. So if I click on any of the chords, and now I can add E for the bass. So I can just come down here, double click and stretch that out. I could copy that over and then this one's B. And with the new version of Captain Chords, the epic version, they've added tons of different rhythms and you can select them by genre as well. And we could play around with some of these. So quite like how it's playing on every beat, but I don't want the notes to change. And if we just go to the everything bank, you can actually see how many different rhythms they've got. It's crazy. In my head now, I just want it to play on every beat. So I'm going to click on, on every beat. And then maybe in this last one here, I could just change this. So if you drag any of the notes, it's going to stay within the scale. And that's why I'm saying you don't need any musical knowledge. So I like the way that sounds actually. So at this point, you could either browse through the sound presets because they've added a bunch of new ones to the update. And if you see any with a symbol next to it like this, it means that you have more control over the sound design because they've actually teamed up with kilohertz to bring you phase plan. You can really get more creative with the sounds now, but if you didn't want to do that and you just want to use some of your favorite plugins, you can easily export the MIDI. So for example, I'll just show you now. Let's say your favorite piano was the Giant in Contact. I could just click export MIDI and drag it straight over. I'm gonna send both of these to a mixer channel as well, just by pressing Control, Shift and L, and then I'll mute Captain Chords. I'm gonna add those bass notes back in. 
And then I'm gonna add this note here. And then another note here just to make it more interesting. Maybe I could stretch this out actually. Yeah, there we go. All right, cool. So I'm gonna press Control and A to highlight everything. Alt and R. This is gonna randomize the velocity. I'm gonna turn bipolar off and then just bring down the velocity. I'm also gonna press Alt and S and this is gonna strum the chords, which again is gonna make it a bit more human because you're not gonna be able to play every note at exactly the same time. I'm gonna double up the bass notes as well. So again, I'm gonna copy these, bring them down. Maybe I could bring the whole thing down an octave. I like the way that sounds, you know. That sounds better to me. I'm also gonna bring down the velocity of the bass. All right, I think that's sounding hard. I don't wanna take the chords any further than that because again, I'm trying to keep it simple for everyone. But what we need now is a counter melody. So I'm gonna open Captain Melody because this is sick for helping you think of them. So when it opens, it's asking us to set the scale and it's recognized it as B minor because we already use Captain chords. All these plugins link up together. So for example, when this one's gonna help you think of counter melodies, it already knows the chord progression that you've used. So it's gonna base it around that. Now I'm gonna make this really simple and just click this plus button here. And this is gonna give me a counter melody. See how it's all in key? Already sounds hard. I'm not gonna stick with this exact melody, but I just wanna find a better sound. I like this one actually. So man, from here, there's so many things we can do. We can either just randomize a whole new melody. We could lock certain notes. So for example, if you liked everything up to here, you could lock those. And then when you randomize them, it's gonna give you different patterns, but keep these in place. And if we go up to the presets, we can change it from double taps to something like, let's go for space variation. I'm feeling these notes here, so I'm gonna lock them. I also like how these sound here, but I think I wanna bring them further on. So I'm gonna get rid of these and then bring this here. And then I'm gonna copy this first section. Let's see how this sounds. See what I'm saying? That sounds hard. And then just to match the vibe, I'm gonna add some reverb to the piano as well. Only around about 15%. The next thing I think we should do is to layer the piano with either a pad or some strings just to make it thicker. And let's go for some violins. And what I'm gonna do is copy the piano, paste it into the strings, but I'm gonna extend the chords. I don't want these to repeat on every beat. So I'll go ahead and do that for each one. I'm also gonna get rid of the bottom bass notes. So the strings are sounding sick, but I don't know if they match the vibe of that plot. Oh, that sounds hard together. So maybe what we could do is copy the piano and then take the counter melody from Captain Melody and then paste it over the piano. I'm gonna copy these and try and pitch them up another octave. Let's see how this sounds. And we'll bring down the velocity of the top ones. Just holding all and using the scroll wheel. But I'm gonna send the counter melody of the piano to another empty channel. I'll copy the reverb over and I'm gonna add some delay to this one. I just wanted to process the counter melody a little bit different to the main chord. So one thing that we could do is just add some crystallizer. This is gonna add a reverse delay. All right, so the next thing I'm thinking of adding is a cello. So because we've got the scale selected, we can just click on some of the highlighted notes. So for example, we could do something like this. And I'm just gonna change something in this section for variation. This might work. There we go. Again, I can randomize the velocity of this and bring some of the notes slightly off grid. And honestly, at this point, that's all you really need for a melody, but sometimes I like to add some kind of textures or vocals just to make it that little bit more interesting. So for example, I could just add a one shot of vocals like this. Or instead I could add this one. And then with that vocal shot, I've just added the same reverb, but brought the mix up a bit so it's more washed out. For the EQ, I could take some lows out, but to be honest, it was already pre-mixed, so it didn't really need much.
And then I'm just adding little alter boy. I'm going to link them, bring the pitch up and the formant. So it's up a full octave. Just means it's going to sound higher, but it's going to be the same notes. And then I'm going to bring the mix level down. So we get a blend between the original one and the high pitch one. About there should work. This was supposed to be a beginner's tutorial and honestly the melody is sounding a little bit more advanced but yeah i think it's definitely time to start adding in the drums all right we'll start with a counter snare and because the tutorial was mainly for melodies i'm going to use a midi from one of my kits so we'll use the hazy hi-hat midis kit this one straight away fits perfect And we'll grab something like this, something with a different tone. We'll just randomize the panning of the second one. And just fix a couple of the notes. Alright, I'm going to grab the crispy snare. I think this is going to work well. Okay, for the 8 way, I'm gonna grab the posted one. And again, I'm gonna use another Captain plugin. And this one's called Captain Deep. So I've pulled up Captain Deep. Again, it's gonna link to the other plugins. And you can see it's linked to chords. And this is gonna help us think of bass patterns. So you can see that it's already pulled the root notes of the chords. But yeah, for the rhythm, we can either follow the chords or we could go to something like Trap and Hip Hop. So I'm just gonna flick through some until I find one that I like. I like this. So straight away I found somewhat of a pattern that's going to work with the chord progression. And in the epic version you can actually change the MIDI now. And obviously you're going to be staying in the scale. But I really just wanted to use it to get some quick inspiration. So I'm going to export this MIDI and drag it over my 8 weight. Obviously for these ones we're not going to have two notes on top of each other. But it might give me an idea for a slide note. So I'm just going to copy them, bring them up an octave, make these ones shorter. And I'll turn these into slides. It doesn't mean I have to stick with those notes, I could try some others. But I think that sounds sick. I'm going to get rid of this and stretch this one out. Maybe I could extend this and make this a slide note. Again, I could make these slides. Alright, so here's what I got for the 8-weight pattern. I also swapped it to the fat and wide. Okay, I'm just adding this little perk loop in as well. And for the drums, I think that's going to be it. I might need to add a couple last minute effects, but the main purpose of the video was to show you melodies. So I'm going to finish mixing everything. I'll arrange it all and then show you the final outcome. All right, so I finished mixing and arranging the beat. And the only thing I think I changed was the snare and then maybe added one more effect, but I'll play it and talk you through it all. So in the intro, I'm just starting off with the piano chords. And I actually added another counter melody for the intro. Just this. And then this section here. Just felt like it needed a different melody for the intro. Straight to the hook. So in this section we have the strings 
and the other count melody. And then the cello comes in. And there's two eight way packs as always. That little drop sounds sick for the verse. Energy just dies with a verse, and I just use the same count melody I made for the intro. So I hope you liked the video and I hope you're feeling the beat. And if you want to check out the new Captain Plugins Epic Updates, I've left a link to them in the description. Plus, if you want 10% off, just use the code Cactus Epic. This is definitely one that I'd recommend, especially if you want to improve your melodies. So make sure you check it out. But either way, I appreciate you all for watching the video. Much love and I'll see you next time.